With ProtectPoint for SQL, DBA backup and recovery is done directly from SQL Server Management Studio. With ProtectPoint for Exchange, app owners can back up and use recovery directly through Microsoft PowerShell. ProtectPoint can also provide granular or object level recoveries for Microsoft applications as an optional add-on feature, which includes table level recoveries or SQL and item level, like folders, mailboxes, or attachments for Exchange. Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we are coming to you today with a light. And then what you can do at that point, you can dot it again, and uh, it's not a very good E. Okay, there's E. So you can dot it again, and you can bring that up, and now it's going to intersect it right there. Then you can do, you can start back at A, you can go through that point, and then this thing just keeps going over and over, and you can dot it a certain number of times. And I'll say, I'll say that we'll dot it N number of times. So A dot B, or A dot itself actually, uh, N number of times is going to yield, let's say a value, I'll call it Z. Hi, I'm Aliana Eliotis, Product Marketing Manager at EMC. Today, I'll be introducing you to ProtectPoint for Microsoft SQL and Exchange. As many application owners and database administrators know, data is growing at an exponential rate and SLAs are just getting stricter. Although we've made great strides in the world of backup over the last decade, traditional backup is still fundamentally broken. With RPO and RTO becoming more stringent, traditional backup simply can't keep up with these demands. First, with a traditional backup, your application, like Exchange, is impacted for the length of the backup. This is because all data flows through the server on its way to the protection storage. Second, because of how much data there is to move and the need to pass through multiple servers along the way, a traditional backup takes too much time and you'll likely miss your backup window. Finally, traditional backup can't scale with mission critical application demands as it quickly becomes complex and expensive to add additional infrastructure to try to meet your protection SLAs. Hi, my name is Chris Morosco, and I'm going to talk about Office 365 and some of the steps you can take to secure it, as well as some of the challenges and why we need to do these uh, steps to secure it. So first, we're going to look at the scenario we have here. We have uh, Office 365 application in the cloud connected through a firewall to users uh, within the network. And then we have an external collaborator, which is one of the most common reasons why people use these SaaS applications is for sharing data, not just within the company, but with external people as well. And so this presents some security risks some challenges with uh, threat exposure, um, data risk exposure, and some challenges with this external collaboration. So how do we solve it? So the first question that comes up typically is, doesn't Microsoft already provide enough security built in that I'm protected? Now you said as a corporate policy, everyone's going to OneDrive now. You tell them you have to pull your data off, move it to OneDrive. Then after that's happened, you're able to move that application to a completely blocked, unsanctioned application. So it gives you full control over that uh, capability of who uses which app, how do they use it, and then how do you migrate them from what was an unsanctioned and a tolerated application to a fully sanctioned application with Office 365. First, the first step is so, process 1번은 무조건 실행이 되겠죠. 그러면 자 process 1번은 어디까지? 5시가 될 때까지. 자 실행 시간이 5시간이니까 5시가 된이 시점에 끝나겠죠. 자 따라서 이 시점에 process 1번이 종료가 될 거예요. 따라서 이쪽에다 써 보면 자 process 1번은 자 process 1번은 0시에 들어와서 최종 결과가 언제 나왔어요? 5시에 최종 결과가 나오죠. 자 따라서 반환 시간은 이제 구해지죠. 5시간이 된다. 자 하나 구했습니다. 무슨 소리인지 이해 되셨나요? 그런 게 있나 보다 하시면 돼요. 출제될 건 아닙니다. 자, 그 다음에 또 이제 생소한 용어가 등장했죠. 살라미 어택이라고 하는 게 뭐예요, 도대체? 자, 살라미라고 하는 게 뭐냐면 이탈리아의 소세지 이름입니다. 자, 그래서 살라미라고 하는 소세지가 있대요. 자, 사진 한번 보여드리면 요게 살라미 소세지입니다. 